In the beginning, it was friendship. Before the codependence started, or maybe I was the only one inflicted. My emotions were so deeply rooted, it paralyzed me. This thing between us was indeed poisonous. I, I was toxic before. Used to hurt a lot of people to the core. They wished to see my head on the floor. I wasn't a fan of peace. Rather, I loved the war. Pressure pushing from all sides. Insecurities of all kind. I'm a hostage of my own pride. It's me in faces. I am not in the mood to meet a stranger. I am not in the mood to have a conversation and talking about things I'm not amazed with. Getting too close to me can be dangerous. I hate you, yet I love you. I need you, but I really can't stand you. Bringing myself down always to please you. The Lord just never gave me the strength to leave you. All you do is take and leave me wanting. Like a cat locked in a cage while the rat runs free unleashing chaos. You just took until I was so confused I couldn't even remember my own birthday. No, I needed to please you every second of every blessed or not so blessed day. Keeping you happy was a necessity embedded in me, inscribed on me, and the reason I woke up every morning like church bells on Sundays, or you would never let me forget that I promised to be there every day. I don't like this energy. I want to leave this situation. All this negativity I can't get away from. All this negativity I think I need a break from. I am thankful. Your manipulations kept coming without warning, holding me farther down in its ocean I sunk in. Every emotional blackmail was a sharp arrow through my heart that you kept on hunting. Until I forgot what freedom felt like while I was chained in your dungeon. Until I forgot the sound of my grandmother's voice in the yard when she would tell me stories of king's men plotting. Until there were scratches of your deceit all over my body, you were toxic. Yet I still hide what you are. Or maybe I was just ashamed to let people see what I let you do to me. In some, my trust was the eyes you used to play hockey. Could someone just tell Ama that I am not a theater for all her drama? It's like she used a hammer to force me out of my trauma. I am a changed man. It took some time, but I came out of my dilemma. I once had people say, if you don't change, you do not grow. But I waved the thoughts for who were they to think they knew. I will always stay the same as I desire not to change. Everything will be in place just the way I arrange. Suddenly, I felt this trapped within me for it no longer seemed to fit. Alone and wondering why I'm still here feeling lost and lonely. Whereas the world sitting in an edge out there changing every bit of a single day. Challenges I encounter with new things to find. All goals I set seems out of reach, yet I was in class for lessons was there to teach. Will I remain dreaming of a new start and breathe? Or will I take a step even though it's hard? Yet struggling through it all will never let me sleep. There is more to living than waiting. Ideas are the lanterns that come in pattern from the heart so that the lantern can show us light to peace. For that freedom to color the world with peace and peace.